Hey, this is Michael Lindsay from Viola Mex. We're here with Rockstar, Aaron J. House Cabarna's Malcolm Stewart. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to think throughout your career, is this the first time you've, what, well, definitely in 450s, but how many times have you actually come into a season continuing a deal with a team, knowing you were going to be here, having that ability um, to build off relationships? And, not since, and, and not in 450 class, I would say at least 250 for sure. Uh, the only one that was uh, Geico Honda back mm -hmm. in 15 and then renewed my deal in 16, or for, and 15 for 16 but yeah. um yeah that's the only one that 450 there is there is none yeah i was uh i was definitely moving around a lot of bit uh or a lot so I'm, I'm glad that this team saw something good in me and, and kept me for a two-year deal and, and i i felt like i did a phenomenal job to the best i could um to to earn that second year so like i said i'm glad but we got some more stuff cooking going into next year it should be a really good year it's so like how tough has some of those situations been for you? I know some of your teams have been like November, December, like, oh well, crap, the end of outdoors ended. And it was like, cool, you already like, knew what you are doing. Yeah, no, so, it's just, I think it's the hardest thing is just like staying motivated, you know? It's <laughs> like, like, oh yeah, now all of a sudden I get on the bike and, you know, different program, different people, like, you know, everything's different. And, and it's hard to do that last minute. So, and I never wish that upon anybody because, you know, people don't understand how hard it is for just a, a, a motocross rider to just go, yeah, it's easy. We're talented. We can go get on any type yeah. of motorcycle and ride it. But to the full potential where you could be, it, it's tough, man. And, and knowing that you only got a, a, a month or so to go racing, a month, month and a half, it's tough. So, um, but yeah, I'm glad that at least you know Rockstar Energy gave me a gave me a two year deal, and and I felt like I said I'm I'm happy. I, I got a whole year under my belt now, going into the, for the next year, the 2023. So, I'm, like I said, I'm very excited. I do like the team environment. I see you joking with Jalik and Christian, all these guys. And I think this team, it, it has changed a lot over the last couple of years since since like Bobby Hugh days. But everything I always heard is like this team's had a really good family atmosphere. Um, do you quite enjoy that? Oh, yeah. No, like I said, it's, you know, definitely a lot more laid back than some other teams. And sometimes I'm the type of person where I'm always happy-go-lucky. That's when I feel like I perform my best anyway. So uh, that's why, I like, you know, being around this team, it definitely, you know, fits me a lot better than, than other teams in the past. But... Also, too, is like I know a lot of the guys that were here from amateur racing back in Extreme Team Green and yep. stuff like that. You know, you, you mentioned Bobby Hewitt. Of course, he was already out by the time I was here. Yeah. But just some of the still some of the guys that are still around yep. and stuff like that. So, um, of course, my teammate, Christian Craig, I was with him in 2015 and 16. Jalik, I've known since he was a little a little punk. But I, I think he kind of is still, isn't he? He still is. I love the kid, though. He's like a little brother to me. Um, and then, of course, RJ Hampshire, you know, being a Dade City boy. So, we, like I said, we all know each other fairly well. And it's just good to, you know, be around some people that actually, you know, not only that they love racing, but they also, you know, have a, a, a lot of respect for yeah. each other, you know. So, I think that's cool. What's off season been like for you this year with, uh, you know, there was a lot last year with the comments about the bikes and everybody trying to figure out. Have you improved? Do you, is there something particular you feel like you've made a big improvement on or big strides with? I feel like, you know, of course, when the bike was new, you know, it, it, it's hard to tell people like, you know, they, of course, they built it over in Europe. They came over here. You know, we're kind of like, the, and I say the test dummies, but putting it under that type of racing pressure is definitely a lot of, you know, it's going to be a lot of testing and stuff like that. But now after, a, you know, a full year under its belt, you know, the, working all the bugs out, I think that we're in a really good spot. But you know how it goes. You never really know exactly how it's going to be until you go racing. But I will say from the, from when I first jumped on a bike to where it is, you know, now it's a tremendous, a big difference. So, but to be honest, man, like, I'm just kind of happy where I'm at. I'm glad, like I said, it kind of reality checked me. I was like, you know what? You know, two years ago, you could have been in a situation where you didn't have options, you know? Mm -hmm. So just be thankful for what you got. And run what you got and, and have fun with it. So I actually I just been taking everything how it goes and I've been doing a lot of fishing too. I ain't gonna lie, I've been doing a lot of fishing. <laughs> I see a lot of fishing. A lot somewhere. of fishing. I ain't gonna lie, doing a lot of fishing. So Alvin kind of whipped the, he kind of whipped it on me a little bit, but we done, we've been doing a little bit of fishing, some definitely some training and riding, but you know still kind of fishing. <laughs> Is there a pond on the property? Can you fish on this property or not? Dude, I bought a house that has a pond behind it just yes. because it had a pond you know that's the only reason i was like ah oh, you can fix up the house i right, can do all that just the pond you can't replace the pond <laughs> so, no people don't understand how big i am in the fish and i love fishing it's, but i've always worried when you're when you're done racing are you oh it's go, happening are you, no, you're no, going no, full not. professional bass fish like i mean on, i'm gonna try i don't know how good TV, i'm gonna be, you're gonna be I'm, gonna, I'm gonna try you know I'm, i mean that's why i'm trying to go fast now so i can bring some of that entertainment over there so i have to start from the ground up you'll be fishing with the rock star in one hand and I, dude i'm gonna be doing something but i it, i i ain't just gonna be sitting there so 
no, like I said, I, I'm big. I'm big into fishing. I love fishing. Everybody knows that. Um, but yeah, no, you, you, everybody knows exactly what I'm doing. When I hang hang those boots up, it's we in the water, boy. <laughs> well, what are you talking about? First, what what got you into it? Because you, you've been in this since you were my, a little kid, right? My, yeah, my dad. He got me into fishing. Um, you know, when I was when I was really little, and and he always wanted one son to fish. You know, so my brother didn't take off after it. So he was weak. He didn't really like it. So he took off golfing. And I don't really enjoy golfing. I respect it, but. Dude, now, everybody, now, everybody you know, moto is into golf. And yeah, it's, it's like, oh, over. dude, I'm in, oh, I'm in golf. Sick. Who Sick. Cares? So is everybody else. So who cares? <laughs> go do something else. You know what I mean? Go shoot some guns or something else. Like, do something else cool. But I will say, I did like golf. And I broke my arm and I started slicing them. And those little Nike balls ain't cheap. <laughs> they ain't cheap. So, but I will say one thing. You put me at the putt putt course, boy. I will oh. give you everything you got, boy. I, we can bet a hundred yeah. on it. I, we got I'm, mulligans right down I, here. That's where we're going. Hey, yeah. next team intro. That's where we're all going. Boy, to wear the green jacket. <laughs> 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 oh, I love it though. But you know, this is how it's been all off season. We just always joking, having fun, I'm talking about fantasy football. It's been one heck of a off season. So just knowing. But like I say, I'm surrounded by a lot of good group of guys, and it, it's it's fun. It's been a really really fun off season for us, and not just. The whole Rockstar Energy Husqvarna team, but just even on the KTM side with Cooper Webb, Aaron Plessinger. So you know, it's it's been it's been really good. So um, I'm I'm excited just to see how we all perform and, and go from there. What about our boy over here, uh, Hanny? Everybody thought he was just a glorified IG guy for the team, but he's out here grinding. No, this guy's actually and stuff. yeah. No, uh, Hanny's been putting in some tremendous amount of work trying to get us, uh, trying to get us even more dialed in. He and he's been. I mean, there's days where he's rode literally four or five days in a row. So, um, it's awesome to have him on the team. And he's a very talented rider, and he knows how to hit whoops. And, and he knows he's really, really good about how the how the bike feels. So having a guy like that on our squad, especially around the Austria bike, is really tremendously helping us big time. Oh, we were joking about this before. It's about the Mount Rushmore of talent and him being one of those guys up there. Like, but now that he's standing here, I say he's he, yeah, he got yeah, it. No. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm curious because you, you of course, grow up around your brother. Like any of us say, like watch your brother. It's like all oh, the stuff that gets done yeah. on a motorcycle is pretty but shocking. But I gotta say, at least at least Josh, but he spent a lot of time down in uh, in Florida with us too. Mm -hmm. So, but yeah, he always used to pick on me when I was little. I didn't like that. So. You know, mm -hmm. just because he was older and stuff, he always thought he had an edge on me. So now that I'm a little older, you know, I feel like, you know, he's older, you know. So I mean, he's old now. He's old. Yeah, he's looking at me hard right now, dude, <laughs> trying to trying to flex on me. But um, I'm going to whoop him one day. Just going to catch him. I'm going to catch him slipping. <laughs> don't let him know. Let me bring, bring back this story. <laughs> <laughs> see? You see, see that? He's already sorry. <laughs> we he's got, got, he's got, we got another more. mic if you got a story you want to come over here, boy. <laughs> As I said, he used to pick on me when I was little. <laughs> so last year, uh, you know, a couple years ago, I'd say in 450s, when even you were doing your own program and then MCR days, like nobody doubts the speed. It's there. You you can lay it down with some of the best of them. But slowly, last couple years, you've just been getting more consistent, more consistent, where you have like a season of awesome results. Last year, how many times were you on the podium last year? Honestly, yeah. I, th I remember I, I had it on notes like somewhere. Four or five. I don't I know, but I felt. I, was, but I was a lot of like heat race wins yeah. and, and like Long fastest time qualifiers. Time. Yes, yes. So I think I mean it was a massive turnaround year for us. Yeah. Um, I think it's. I think it was good. You know, for me and I, just excitement and yeah. like just knowing that. And I feel like a lot of it has to do with just knowing that you're yeah. secured. You know, like yeah. knowing that you can be. You're not going to stress out. You know, mm -hmm. midway through Supercross, be like, man, I don't. I don't have an outdoor deal or I don't have, you know, what am I going to do next year if I don't, you know, just knowing that is, is a big, big deal. And I, like I said, for me, it's, it's about the environment and who I'm around and, and being back in Florida yeah. with my family. Um, like I said, and, and also knowing Alden a little bit too in the past, of course, when he was working with James. So it's like one big happy family for me. Um, and I'm excited to, to be around these people and, and they've helped me out a lot. And I like think I said, I want to just go out there and do the best that I can. Um, Last one. I know years past, it's been kind of a weird subject. Talk to you about like, hey, how's your your brother doing? Because he was kind of doing his own thing. He's doing a lot of stuff publicly now, doing the Bubba's World podcast. We've seen a lot of races. He came back to outdoors. It's cool to have him back at the races and also actually being able to like enjoy him at the races versus people trying to hunt him down and ask you. <laughs> yeah, no, he's enjoying it. I think, you know, and I feel like a lot of riders, you know, at that caliber kind of just did a little hideout for a little bit and then they come back, you know. Yeah. So, um, 
it's good to see him out. He's having a, a really good, a um, lot of good results, uh, res- reviews on his podcast. He's out. He's happy doing interviews, of course, on the, he did a whole pro motocross and stuff. So he's out. He's definitely out. And it definitely gives a lot of like input of how he sees it and yeah. the racing perspective and, and from a racer uh, standpoint too. And, and a good, well speaker and stuff like that. So no, I'm, I'm glad. I think we, um, it's just good to have him in a sport and just keeps everything flowing. I think outdoors next year will be cool. I know there's some talk that we'll hopefully see him back in the booth. I think even more than yeah. we did possibly this year. You'll be hopefully on track this year. We'll make That's it to right. outdoors and yes, sir. get to hear him talk about oh, it yeah. and enjoy it all together. It'll be yeah, cool. I hope you don't talk about me getting lapped. That's not <laughs> the coolest part. <laughs> hey, did that ever run? Because what do you do? You did last two. Were you ever thinking that on track during outdoors? Oh, man, I wonder what he's saying about me right now. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, at the time, I was like, man, it's bro, man. You ain't got nothing to say to me right now. You know what it feels like. <laughs> You know, how this you know what it feels like. I, I felt for you and Dino. Oh, yeah. Both of you last year coming in out, coming in outdoors late in the year is not fun. Not yeah, no, I, it's it's hard, man. To jump in there after you got a good groove. No, it's it's just it's it's not not possible. It's just not I'm not saying it's not possible, but man, yeah. it's it's tough. Yeah. So cool. well, thank you very much for All your right. time, man. Well, uh, I think twenty three will be pretty enjoyable. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a good year. Just stay tuned. Stay tuned.